Hey, it's me, MLV. This one shot is a continuation of the first Todoroki one that I posted on YouTube a few weeks ago titled 50 Ways to Kiss. I am adding a second chapter as a thank you for 1000 views on the first chapter. It's the very first of my videos to get to 1K, so that's exciting. Thank you all so much for your support. Part two of 50 Ways to Kiss is a little more racy than the first part and there's a very highly suggestive scene, but I've hopefully written it in a way that doesn't say anything too inappropriate but the imagery will be spicy just a warning so here is part two of 50 ways to kiss Todoroki ex female listener it had now been a year and a little bit since the incident involving the talk about the kissing of certain lips had occurred and it was a Sunday night in the dorms again then there was a knock at your door strange you wondered who could that be putting your phone down on the bed in front of you you pulled yourself up off your stomach and walked to your bedroom door then pulled it open Oh, Shoto, you said with surprise when you saw your boyfriend standing there. I thought you'd gone for a run with Midoriya. His beautiful eyes glossed over your face silently, then he placed a hand on your shoulder and slowly pushed you back into your room as he entered as well. A little befuddled by his odd behaviour, you allowed it, then waited until he had locked your bedroom door and turned back to face you. Yin, he said in a low voice, I need to ask you something. Yes, you replied hesitantly. What level boyfriend am I now? Pardon? What level boyfriend am I now? Am I level 4 yet? You weren't exactly on the same page as him at first and it took you a second or two to catch up then your hands flew up to cover your mouth with fright. Why are you asking? You half mumbled through your fingers. I need to know, he replied taking a step towards you. Instinctively you stepped back, this magnetic repulsion type dance happening until you had tripped on the side of your bed and fallen backwards onto it with a bounce your hands flying from your mouth to the bed to steady yourself. Am I level four yet? He asked again, his unwavering gaze watching you intently as he leaned over you on the bed with a hand either side of your waist. I, uh, I, uh, wait, but, but do you even know what a kiss on the southern lips is? You queried. No, and that's why I need to be level four to find out. Find out? Yes, you said you would tell me when I was level four boyfriend. Tell you, oh, so you just want to know what it is? You're not wanting to try yet? Shoto nodded. Oh, oh, thank God. You breathed a sigh of relief as you sat up and bumped your nose against his. Sit down and I'll do my best to explain. He quickly sat and watched you intently, sitting with both hands neatly on his thighs as he waited for your explanation. Um, okay, how much of the female anatomy do you know? You asked him. Not a lot, he replied honestly. Great. That doesn't help. Uh, okay, so south means below the waistline, you said, grinning stupidly on the end and hoping he would just magically understand and not ask any further questions. He blinked. Yes, he prompted. Oh, heck, really? You whined. Get, can you please just understand? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Where does the kiss take place? He asked innocently. Between the thighs, Shoto, between the thighs, you said, chopping your hands like Ida would. He stared at you, and you could almost see the cogs turning behind those blue and grey eyes. Then the penny dropped, and he blushed madly and looked away. Why are you blushing? You grabbed his shoulder and tried to turn him to face you. You have no right to blush. I'm the one who had to explain that. I should be the one blushing. People do that? He asked with soft awe. Well, yeah, because that feels good, you mumbled shyly, feeling self-conscious now as you let him go. Do you like that type of thing, Yin? He asked, hesitating a look at you. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I've, not, I've not even tried. Oh, okay, this is a really awkward conversation right now. Can we just please change the subject? I would like to kiss you between your thighs, Shoto suddenly said, and you nearly deceased, wheezing away like an asthmatic fish. Shoto, you is, please warn me when. Am I level four boyfriend? He asked honestly, turning to face you and taking your hands in his. You stammered, flustered as heck as he closed the gap and kissed your lips. How should I kiss you there, like this? He pressed his lips to yours gently, then pulled back. Or like this. He then came back in for a kiss, but used a little bit of tongue to taste your lips. Your brain short-circuited, Kaminari style. I, you started... Or this. His lips captured yours and instantly you were making out, his tongue sliding and twisting with yours and your brain created an image of him doing that, but a lot lower down your body. 
those beautiful eyes looking up at you as his hands wrapped around your thighs and your fingers scrunched into his white and red jeweled coloured fringe while salacious noises trembled from your quivering lips. Suddenly realising where your mind had wandered, you yanked back from Shoto in a hurry, panting furiously. Yin, he asked curiously, his chest rising and falling sharply. I've just decided that we need to be married before we do any of that, you panted. I'll go and buy the rings then, he said earnestly, getting off the bed. Wait, you grabbed his shirt. Where are you going? You're not serious, are you? He looked at you. Oh, oh, you are serious. God, okay. Please, just... He turned and bent to hug you, and you pulled him back onto the bed. Whenever you're ready, Yin, he said softly as he turned his head and kissed your neck. I don't want to rush you, but just know that once I get between your thighs, I won't be leaving anytime soon, because I know how much I enjoy kissing your lips up here, that I already know that I'm going to enjoy kissing your lips down there too. And there was a second short circuit in less than 10 minutes for you. I need to come with a warning label, you screeched playfully, smacking his shoulders with the flat palms of your hands. Don't just say stuff like that so calmly. But it's the truth. That's what makes it even more embarrassing, you wailed playfully. I don't understand. I love you, you blurted out. I don't care if you say stuff that makes me flustered. I, I love you. I love you more, Yin, he said softly, snuggling his head into your chest. Also, what's 69? I thought it was a number. You paused. Dead. All of them. I'm honestly going to kill all of them for saying stuff like this in front of you, especially Kaminari. Murdered. Bye-bye. Gone. You deadpanned. And that's the end of the one shot. Hopefully you enjoyed part two. Stay tuned for more one shots coming soon.